that, guys. So, if you would like to achieve this smoky eye look, sort of a concert get ready with me, except it was the day before, then keep watching. Wow, this goes fast. Um, I prepped with contouring, concealer, foundation, and primer already, as well as I put on my eyebrows. And now we're going to move on to primer, which I will show you how that is done. There I am! There's me! So, basically, I'm just going to spread this all over my entire eyelid, up to my brow bone. And I've sort of sped it up because, you know, I, I feel like you know what it looks like to rub your eyes. And now we're going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Took the cap off. It looks nasty. Um, I'm going to put this on the inner corners of my eyes. We are going to put a powder highlight there as well, but this is just to, you know, pre-brighten before we get to that. So I'm just going to blend that out with my middle finger. So now we're going to start on the eyeshadow. I mix Pistol and Verve together into one color because I feel like Pistol is not pigmented enough for me on its own. And I'm just applying that all over the lid to set the scene for our nice, smoky, gray, lovely eyes. Oh, and those colors are from the Naked 2 palette. Sorry about that. I'm also using the puffier end of the brush from the Naked 3. Okay, so now we're taking this fluffy brush, the Up and Up Crease Brush from Target. It's just their generic brand, but this is the best brush I own. And we're going to go in with Gunmetal from the Naked One palette. And I'm going to just start blending that into my crease. I sped up a lot of the blending, especially on the eye you can't see, because... Holy jeez, I am a blending freak. It will bore you to tears if you have to watch how long I blend. Um, if you'd ever like a tutorial that in-depth, you can definitely just ask, but um, yeah, trying to keep it short and sweet for my first tutorial. Not really, this is going to be 10 minutes. But um, yeah, just blending that into the crease and sort of maybe a third to a half of the way into the eyelid, going gradually with building the color because... That's what I like to do. It creates an easier gradient. And now we're going in with Creep from that same Naked One palette. And I just realized I'm moving back and forth, which will probably infect my audio track, so I'll stop doing that, sorry. And we're going to blend that on the outer third of our eyelid, maybe even outer quarter, and just gradually use that to darken up our crease and this whole look. Um, some people consider it more of a dark brown, I would call it a sparkly black myself. And this is how our eyeshadow is looking so far. So next, we're just going to clean off the brush on our hand, because you know, that's how I roll, and just blend the eyeshadow out really well without anything on the brush, because again, that will create more of a gradual gradient faded look. and. Why did I pout? I don't know. Um, just gonna continue to blend. Again, blending freak. And we're going to add just a little more of the creep just because, you know, it you lose color over time with the blending, even though it's very important to blend. And yeah, I'm talking really fast. Um, so again, this is how that's looking. We're going in with Strange from the Naked 3 palette. And we're going to use that, firstly, on our brow bone. Um, you can also blend this down a little bit into the color. As Well, it's not really a color. You can blend this down into the creep. Yeah, blend it into creep. And, yeah. Just is a nice white little opalescent -y. And we're also using this in our inner corners. And sort of, I like to use my inner corner highlight to blend into... Uh, my crease color so it looks less harsh there. So now we're going in with the NYX Wonder Pencil and my new favorite eyeliner, the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Demolition, which is a nice dark brown and a nude eyeliner. First we're using the nude in the inner corners of our eyes just to brighten up and look a lot more, you know, awake and alive. And now we're going in with Demolition on the waterline and carrying it a little bit out into where the bottom lashes would go. Um, 
sometimes I put it too far down and I then smudge it with my finger like you saw there and um, I like to only do this about halfway to my lid because I mean not uh, halfway through my bottom lid because I really like the whole look of um, my eyes looking huge as they always do so now we're going to go in with your average daily uh, makeup wipe doesn't matter what kind you use. Oh, and I decided I needed to brush away some fallout because the makeup wipe will make fallout stick. So we're just pulling down and out to create more of a cat eye with our eyeshadow. And if you keep hearing noises, it's because I'm talking with my hands as I talk to myself. And we just want to create a pointy cat eye shape that will follow what our eyeliner is about to do. Yeah, and we're going to go in with MAC Black Track Fluid Line the most bomb of all the eyeliners in this world. Um, sorry Bobby Brown purists, but I mean, I'm a Mac girl. So I start by applying this to my eyelid, which you cannot see very well because this was the eyelid that was mostly out of the shot. Um, yeah, just applying this all over our lid, blocking it with our nose, uh, going in the inner corner. Super fun stuff. And if you don't want to do a cat eye, that's fine. I think this look works a lot better with said cat eye. But, um, yeah, it's whatever. I don't care. You you can do how you want to do. Um, yeah. So we're drawing out that cat eye. Can't wait to see this cat eye. It's going to be awesome. And here comes that cat eye. Oh. Whoops, what happened? Oh, the camera fell splat. And so I didn't get that, but I took the liberties of finishing my eyeliner. Uh, we're applying brow gel because I forgot to. And yeah, I finished the cat eye off camera, but you can see how that looks. Um, I will post a more in-depth eyeliner tutorial when given the time. So now I'm going to use a trick from Goss Makeup Artist here on YouTube which is pulling my eyebrow up to access my lashes well better to curl them so I can put eyeliner on them. Um, usually I would curl one eye and then do the mascara on that eye and then do the other but I cut out some footage. We're going to be using the Maybelline ever so famous Falsies Volume Express and yeah we're just applying that. I for fast forwarded because I'm gonna make a lot of stupid faces but yeah, um, we're also putting that on our bottom lashes. I can go more in depth on my mascara application. I thought you needed to see Hula because I thought I didn't take a shot of it, but no. Um, we're going to use Milani's Baked Blush in Berry Amore, a very popular one. And I apply that to the apples of my cheeks and also as like somewhat of a contour line, not really. Um, but it, it goes up that area, it goes on top of the bronzer. Woo, I'm so happy. Just kidding, I'm looking for the apples of my cheeks. And we are applying that on the other cheek, which is awesome for us. We are just so happy to be blushing right now. Like, it is awesome. Um, blending something out again? Sure we are. And that would be it for blush. For highlight, I used the color Strange again, the one we used on our brow bone and inner corner. And also the color next to it in the Naked 3 palette, which is called Dust, but just on the um, outer areas of our highlight, like right there. And then we're applying Strange on the bridge of our nose, is that what that's called? Um, a little bit on the forehead, some in the cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin. I, I am jamming. I think I was listening to the used, I don't know. Um, next I'm going to apply one of my favorite light pink nude lips. Don't know why I was waving, I think I was getting it to focus. I'm putting on Angel by MAC, and I don't line with this color. And one of my mortal fears has always been the stupid faces I make putting on lipstick going on camera, but I think I did a pretty good job. So, yeah, we just, since this is a lighter frost, I layer it a few times, and yeah. So that is the finished look. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cock my eyebrow and look cute, so bye! Thank you for watching. I love you.